How's it going YouTube and welcome back to some more Poke Rogue. Today we're going to be continuing off the run that we were doing in the previous Poke Rogue uh, video. So if you haven't checked that one out, be sure to check that one out and then come back and tune into this one. But if you haven't watched it and this is a bit of a spoiler for you, these are a couple of the Pokemon that we have in our party right about now. Uh, we're not going to swap any of them out, but if we go to Pokemon... We have Raichu, Azumarill, Zigzagoon, Mincino, Nidorina, and Shroomish currently as our Pokemon for this run. So hopefully we can continue to use them to uh, kind of the best of our uh, ability in terms of getting as far as possible. This is the furthest we've got so far uh, in terms of getting to uh, floor 31. The highest that we got prior to this was on floor 25. So we can't really be too upset with how we are progressing in terms of this particular run. Uh, what do we want to get rid of for Swift? It never misses, which is ideal. Uh, it's going to be Pound or Echo Voice, I think. Uh, let's get rid of Pound. Let's get rid of Pound and we'll learn Swift on the Mincino. <laughs> Incinerate on the Raichu doesn't really do a lot uh, for uh, the Vulpix. And we are going to go ahead and try and capture the Vulpix here because we haven't got one yet. Uh, so we will go ahead and grab that to add to our starters. We're not adding it into our party. I think our party right now is okay. Uh, the only time I think I'm going to add anything to my party would be if we get any sort of uh, legendary um, available to us. So the choice is we we'll take a Pokeball. <laughs> definitely take pokeball here uh do i want to switch anything out it's a grass type uh we'll keep raichu in and we'll go ahead with the uh thunderbolt on the steamy uh and we'll follow that with a zip zippy zap <laughs> excuse me hay fever is really kicking my ass today but we're gonna go ahead and use a pokeball on that as well because we haven't got one of those ivy doesn't look great either unfortunately but a decent chunk of xp for raichu to get the Raichu to level 25, Azumarill is level 21, and it wants to learn Aqua Tail. Is there anything that you want to get rid of for Aqua Tail? 90 power, 90 accuracy. I think we get rid of the Bubble Beam. I think Aqua Tail uh, for Bubble Beam is a good swap. Could come back to bite us in the ass, but it is what it is. Shroomish is now to level 22 as well. Uh, restores 25% HP. We'll go ahead and slap that on Raichu. So Ninja, Ninjask, we are going to swap out for. And I think we're going to swap into our Need Arena. So we can go ahead and potentially use Earth Power. And then we'll Fury swipes off the Earth Power. I think that hit three times. So we'll go ahead and use that again. The main reason I swapped out of uh, Raichu is I didn't want to uh, have the Raichu knocked out. We could have obviously uh, caught that Pokemon as well, but didn't feel like it was worth doing. Toxic Spikes. Do we want this? I mean, we could use Toxic Swipes, to be fair. Uh, power 15 on a Poison Sting, but it may poison the target. But this will poison. I think we take off Poison Sting and we go ahead and we grab the Toxic Spikes instead. Zigzagoon is now evolving as well, which is lovely to see. So we do now get a uh, Leone, or a Leon, however you want to pronounce a Pokemon's name. Wants to learn Slash. Uh, we could get rid of Headbutt, but it's like exactly the same... Is it exactly the same power and accuracy, but we do get five more H, uh, sorry, not HP, PP for it. So I think we do take the slash instead of the headbutt here. Minnesota is now level 21 as well. So we are going to go ahead and uh, use a potion or two on our Raichu, who is obviously our best Pokemon at this present moment in time. And then we'll bring him back out for the nimble and we'll just go ahead with a Thunderbolt here. So, so far, so good in terms of keeping ourselves in this run. Ooh, don't know if Thief is something we want. PP, power 60, actually 100. 30% chance to steal items, though. Which is going to be quite handy, I feel like. But who would we put it on? 
We have pickup on Leonie anyway, so I think we might just teach Thief here. And I'm going to get rid of Sand Attack. I don't really use too many of the moves that like alter attack, defense, special attack, etc. And this is our first um, battle with a like evil person. I don't know what they've kind of described it as for Pokey Rogue. But we do have a Plasma Grunt in front of us with two Pokemon. So Axew is the first, which is a Dragon type. And we should just be able to get through that with Raichu quite handily there. Bunch of levels for all of our Pokemon here, which is lovely. And the Shroomish is evolving, which is also really nice to see. So we do have a Breloom. And I do want Mac Bunch. Um, we will probably... Take away Leech Seed. Yeah, because we've got Mega Drain, which is obviously a healing one anyway. So I think we take rid of, uh, get rid of Leech Seed. I know that's probably not the right idea, but if we do get like a Mushroom, we do need Leech Seed in the future. We at least have the um, option to go ahead and relearn it, which is quite handy. But getting through that Plasma Grunt wasn't too hard at all. So we will continue the run here, which is lovely. 570, a rare candy, probably is what we're going to go with in terms of what we want to get from here. And I think I'm going to... Do I put it on Raichu or do I continue to level something else? I think we're going to level the Breloom, actually, just to give that a little bit of an extra power boost. Ooh, Ninetales is quite nice. I am going to swap to the Azumarill here. And we are going to Aquatail. Knocking out the Ninetales. We do have a Vulpix. It would have been nice to obviously capture that Ninetale as well. But it is what it is. We're not going to worry too much about that side of things. We can evolve our Vulpix at some point if we bring it into a run. In order to get a Ninetales. So not too bad there. I'm going to just keep taking the Pokeballs if this is all it's going to give us. And we are going to swap back into Raichu here. And we'll go in with a Thundershock. And probably a... Ooh, that's annoying. Let's go Thunderbolt in that case. Pretty sure the Pokemon had some sort of berry. I didn't really look. Should have checked. But it did heal its health. Play Rough is ideal. I really want to get Play Rough. Especially as a fairy move. Do we get rid of Slam? I think we get rid of Slam. It's a normal type move, which eh, could come in handy, I guess, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, do I want Rest? Sleep for two turns, fully restores HP and any status conditions. I mean, the only thing that we... Like, we've got two moves that steal... Um, that steal, what should we call it, items. I'm kind of tempted to take Slash away for rest, but I don't know how much we're going to be using this Pokemon. This is more for pickup more than anything. So, uh, do I take it? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it over Slash. Just in case we need the Pokemon to uh, obviously stay with us for the run. Or for a little bit longer in the run. Uh, I'm going to take the Berry after healing up Raichu here. <laughs> And then we'll take the berry and stick that on to Raichu. So Nidorina, we've already got one in our party. We don't need to worry about uh, anything on those lines. Apart from maybe grabbing it, potentially grabbing it to um, try and get better IVs. But I think it's just better just to get rid of the Nidorina. I don't feel like it's needed right now. Obviously better IVs would be nice. But I can't remember what the IVs are on our Nidorina right now. Uh, do we want Encore? Uh, use Composer type to keep this uh, No, I don't want an Encore. I do not want Encore. Stop trying to teach Encore. There we go. That's, that's a little bit better there. Ooh, IV Scanner. I think that's going to be very handy to have. So we will go ahead and grab it. Um, use the IV Scanner on Vulpix. 
Special attack's very good, but everything else is pretty mediocre. Okay. So in that case, we won't be capturing this particular Vulpix. <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and Aqua Tail with the Azumarill. Just to get through this stage as well. So the next one is going to be a boss. So I think the best thing for us to do is to heal up at least the two Pokemon we know we're going to use. We'll take the Pokeball as well. Okay. Again... The match HP is very good. The defense is pretty good. Not too sure about, obviously, the rest. <laughs> now, I don't know if it tells us whether it's good or not off the back of um, doing the IV scan. So we're not going to worry about this Nido Queen. We do have full heals available, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, if we die with this Azumarill. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the Needle Queen is quicker, right? Yeah, okay. Not ideal, but we do get full heals out of this particular um, stage anyway. Yeah, it doesn't affect... I don't know why I keep using it when it doesn't affect Needle Queen. That was a silly, silly thing to do. Let's go with Breloom. Let's not go with Breloom. That was a crit. That's unfortunate. This could be the end of the run here, which is going to be unfortunate. Uh, let's go Swift. Yeah, Superpower is going to absolutely destroy us here. And obviously Raichu does absolutely nothing for us. Um, yeah, Superpower is just going to sweep. This is unfortunate. I'll take... I'll take... Um, if we do end up dying here, I will take... Um, being... To level... Or to floor 40. We might just have to knock this Nida Queen out, actually. Okay, cool. We got through it in the end. We lost a few Pokemon to that Nida Queen, unfortunately. And I would have loved to be able to capture it just to kind of save a little bit of um, Pokemon health points. But then I remembered we are through 40 <coughs> on the floor level. Do you have... Ooh, you have okay IVs. Let's bring out the Raichu though. So Thundershot doesn't do a lot, which is fine. Thunderbolt doesn't knock out, but... The Parasite is paralyzed. Uh, let's go Breloom. Oh, come on, man. Just stay in a Pokeball. We may just have to knock this Parasite out. Unfortunate, I wasn't going to lose too many more Pokemon to the Parasect there. It's not really what I wanted to happen. Oh, that revive is actually quite handy. So we'll spend a little bit of money on the Raichu, and then we'll take this revive on the Breloom, I think. But first and foremost, let's potion the Raichu, and then we will revive the Breloom. So Wimpod is water and bug. Ooh, defense is best and speed's fantastic on this Wimpod. Uh, I just hope that Raichu doesn't one-shot here. Which he does. Okay. I was just trying to think of any move that might have helped us in that situation and not one-shot the Wimpod, but I can't think of any. Uh, Breloom can have this. Rare Candy. We're going to put the Rare Candy onto probably... Uh, who do I want to put a rare candy on? I think just Raichu at this pre present moment in time. I think Raichu is going to be the best bet. Uh, Ivy Scanner on Graveler. Fantastic and very good. Best defense and very good special attack. Uh, I am going to swap out the Raichu here for the Breloom. But not the Azumarill. We'll go Mega Drain on the Graveler. And we'll go Aqua Tail onto the Diggersby. Graver is at 1 HP. Did that just... It did self-destruct, you 
got to be kidding me. I mean, that's not really what I was looking to catch, though. But it has also knocked out the Graveler. Great. Okay. We'll definitely take the double knockout there through the um, decision from the Diggers B to uh, self-destruct. Uh, I think one more on a zoom reel and then we'll take the nugget to get some money back. Uh, do you have... You do have fairly good IVs. But do I want to catch you? Well, you're on literally a sliver of health, so we'll see... I was about to say, we'll see how many Pokeballs it takes. We'll take that. We'll definitely take that. Uh, we don't want to put it into our party. But we'll definitely take it as an option moving forward. Ooh. I don't think we... Do we take... I don't know if we take Toxic Orb. I've actually... Uh, uh, accidentally taken the Fire Orb on a run before. And it's ended up killing our Pokemon that had it. And I don't think we actually need the Toxic Orb right now. Also, you guys can let me know in the comments if this is the wrong decision, but I'm going to take the Big Nugget over the Toxic Orb. What IVs? Uh, not too bad IVs on the Graveler. But I think, unless, much like the last fight, we don't knock out in. Ah, self-destruct. That gets rid of the Resume Rule, which is really frustrating. Because Azuma was the best for this particular um, floor. So we could go with a revive and a free potion actually for the Azuma Rail. All I ask, Graveler, is you do not have self destruct. I was faster anyway, that's fine. Last thing I wanted was that Grav to go self extra self destruct and then have to revive the Azumarill again. Uh, Aqua Ring, do we want to take this? I mean, that's not too bad to keep it alive, but do we get rid of like bounce maybe, or do we get rid of charm? I'm gonna get rid of charm for now. And then we can always relearn it if we find a mushroom later on. I think that's probably the best way to go. Force Palm? Is that a fighting move? It is. We have Mac Punch. Poison Powder, Stun Spore, Mega Drain. Ah, oh, this is... Mm. I think I get rid of... Poison powder because stun spore is going to be helpful with uh, the paralysis side of things. So we'll get rid of this and we'll learn force palm. Uh, no, because we can't use it anyway. Ah, oh, double kick. I think in that case we get rid of. Fury swipes. I don't think we've got anything that takes a moonstone, right? No, I don't think we've got anything that takes moonstone. Do I need to potion up anything? We could potion like the Azumarill and the Raichu. I think we just take the Great Balls here. Obviously, PP up would be quite nice, but we're kind of chopping and changing the. Um, Chopping and changing the Pokemon we're using now, so it's not just the same Pokemon over and over. Uh, I want to try and catch this Parasect. The downside is I don't want to lose a Pokemon in the meantime. Still lose Breloom. Okay, that's unfortunate. Was it Grass and... Bug, I think. 
So I don't want to take Azumarill out. Come on, man. Could have stayed in that ball for me. I do have Ultra Balls if needed. We've got the Parasect though, that's fine. Okay. That's another one to add to our um, collection in terms of starters for the game. I really want that Egg Voucher. So I think we take the Egg Voucher for sure. I'm going to Super Potion our Raichu real quick. And then I'm going to take the Egg Voucher. Mm, not bad IVs. I'll send out the Azumarill, but before that, how many tickets do we have? We have three. So I think... Yeah, I know what to do with the egg screen. Uh, so we'll go... Two of these. Please give me, like... I was about to say a rare egg would be huge. Thank you. Common egg, understandable. And then one last ticket here in terms of this side of things. We've got two rares so far. Obviously the rest are commons, which is fine. But two rare, two rare eggs. Okay, we'll take that. We don't have a Graveler, so I am going to Ultra Ball for this Graveler. The IVs aren't great, but at least we have a Graveler available to us now. So we are two floors away from the next boss. Oh, that that revive is actually going to be handy, I think. Obviously, we can't potion, but I think we revive Breloom here. But before we do that, uh, we've only got 421, so I don't really want to use too much of our money. Uh, Diggersby, do I want to scan you? I do. Fantastic defense. Please do not die, Azumarill. Thank you. Lovely jubbly. So we're, we're doing all right so far. We've managed to get through the first boss of this run. And we are moving on to our second one, which is awesome. Do I want takedown? Uh, not particularly. No, yes, there we go. Ooh, Hyper Potion, okay. I do want a potion at least the Raichu, and then we'll take the Hyper Potion on Azumarill. Solely because I had a feeling we were gonna have something that we would need Azumarill for. So Probopass is the Pokemon that comes out first. And it does have an electric type move, which is not ideal. But we get through it, that's fine. We get through it. That that's all I wanted was just get through floor fifty. So we're going strong right now. We are halfway to a hundred. This is our best run so far. We had a little bit of a scare earlier in terms of um obviously all of the um Pokemon that went down to the previous boss, but we got through this one perfectly fine. Now, we do have a golden Pokeball, and I don't know what that entails. So, if anyone of you guys in the comment section can, like, let me know what that means, I'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, appreciative, even. Attack and defense are very good on this Rhyhorn. But, again, we are somewhere where the Azumarill is just going to shine. So, we may as well keep them out for now. We have Dance. Uh, Rain Dance, even. Oh, Rain Dance would be awesome. Especially for Azumarill. So we're going to get rid of Bounce. For whatever we had. So once again, we have even more items available to us. Do I take the Rare Candy or the Nugget? I think at this present moment in time, I think the Nugget's going to be better for the money we are fairly low and I want to be able to potentially use like obviously potions and stuff if needed so we will take the money here 
A Copperage. Okay, so we don't one shot and we don't two shot. So we will take that Copperage. Now, my question is do we put it in? And if we do, what do we take out? Because it is quite a chunky Pokemon and it would be quite nice against certain Pokemon. I think we take out the Nidorina. Because I still want. I still want the Loon for pickup. Or do we take it out for Minsano? Hmm. I think we take out Minsano. Just because the Copper Rider is going to have a decent amount of stats in terms of like bulkiness. But we will have to be very. Ooh, Candy Jar is really nice to see. I'm going to take the Candy Jar. <laughs> Uh, not that I want a Doug Trio, but I will use the um, IV scanner on it. So Zoom Reels apparently now turning into our carry for the last couple of uh, sections in this run. Level 35 Copperage, which is awesome to see. So I am going to go ahead and potion on the Zoom Reel. I'm not too fussed about potioning up the Copperage right now. And I am going to take the Nugget. Uh, not too fussed about scanning the Doug Trio, as I said. Dig's going to be annoying. But we get the knockout with Azumarill anyway. All of our Pokemon gaining some levels, which is always nice to see. Uh, I know for a fact we want a potion again on the Azumarill here, at least twice. But what do we take from this? Leperberry, maybe? We'll take the Leperberry, uh, and we'll put it on the Azumarill. Okay, so we have Ivy again. So I'm pretty sure she has, yeah, a Greninja. Uh, so if we go Pokemon and Raichu, I was about to say, please don't knock it out. Uh, it's faster than our Raichu though, damn. Uh, maybe it was better off for us to leave out the Azumarill. This might be where this run ends. Potentially, because we didn't heal the Copperage and I think he could have been good in this particular um, fight. Uh, ground power. Yeah, I think this is where this run ends, unfortunately. So I don't really have anything that's going to do any good for us. Uh... We could get lucky with the Azumarill, but I just don't know. Oh, Hydro Pump would be awesome. Um... Aqua Ring might be handy in this fight. I just don't think I'm going to use Rain Dance. As, much, as good as it might be, I just don't know if I'm going to use it. I know it's another water-based Pokemon, and this is why I'm so upset that my Raichu went down. Uh, how have you missed Azumarill? I mean, we might as well send out Copperage just to see if we can... Should have digged, I suppose. Uh, 
yeah, this is probably the end of this run, unfortunately, but I'll take it as a personal best for sure. Uh, I don't actually know what I want to use here. We'll use Thief. So we do have leftovers on li li blah, 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 blah. I've forgotten how to pronounce his name. So it is going to stay alive for a little bit longer, but I just think this, unfortunately, is going to be the end of our run. And there it is. That is a little unfortunate, but that is our personal best at floor 55. So I can't complain. I'm actually I'm actually really happy with how that went. Uh, the downside was, obviously, as soon as our Raichu went down, it was going to be very difficult for us to get through that fight against Ivy. Looking back on that fight, I think we just leave Azumarill out. Um, and then either when it gets knocked out or whether uh, when it like knocks out a Pokemon or whatever it might be, then we swap into the Raichu. I think that was the better play. Um, but I wanted to put the Raichu in because I knew I could sweep her team with Raichu because 90% of it is water-based Pokemon on her for that run. But unfortunately, we did end up losing our Raichu right at the start of the battle, which kind of made that a lot more difficult than it should have been. But regardless, guys, I hope you did enjoy this particular episode or video even on Poke Rogue. If you did, please uh, please even be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. In the description down below, I'll leave links to all my social media. If you want to go and check those out, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll also leave links to my TikTok and my Twitch for when I do start live streaming over the next couple of weeks. And also there'll be links to my other channels down there as well. But regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.